Hi everyone, it's Dr. A, and in this video we'll be discussing the muscular components of the foot and ankle. One of the most helpful things to do as you begin your exploration of the muscles of the lower leg and ankle is to understand the manner in which the muscles are organized. Uniquely, muscles are arranged in two compartments, and because they're arranged in compartments, it means there are some similarities between them. In this case, the similarities help us to have a greater understanding of the actions they perform. So specifically, if we were to create a cross section of the lower leg, we'd see exactly what you see on the screen here, the muscles and various structures neatly organized. But before we identify them, let's first identify the skeletal components to help us in knowing where we are. First, we have the tibia, and here we have the fibula. So now that we've identified those, let's label the compartments. We have an anterior compartment, a lateral compartment, and a posterior compartment. And this posterior compartment has two divisions. One division we call the superficial posterior compartment, and the other is called the deep posterior compartment. The next thing that we'll do is identify the muscles that belong to each compartment. So within our anterior compartment, we have the tibialis anterior, extensor hallucis longus, the extensor digitorum longus, and the peroneus tertius. Next, within the lateral compartment, we have the peroneus longus and the peroneus brevis. And moving on to the superficial posterior compartment, we have the gastrocnemius, soleus, and the plantaris. And last but certainly not least, we have the deep posterior compartment, which includes the flexor digitorum longus, the popliteus, the tibialis posterior, and the flexor hallucis longus. Now that we've identified the compartments and the muscles that are within them, we can now make note of the fact that the muscles in these compartments perform similar movements. And so what we're saying is that if we have an understanding about where a muscle is located or which compartment it's in, we then have an idea about the function of that muscle too. So in general, the muscles of the lower leg within the anterior compartment generally perform dorsiflexion of the ankle, extension of the toes, in both inversion and eversion of the foot. For the muscles that belong to the lateral compartment, the movements they generally perform include plantar flexion of the ankle and eversion of the foot. And as it pertains to the muscles of the superficial posterior compartment, the movements generally performed include plantar flexion of the ankle and flexion of the knee. And last but certainly not least, the muscles within the deep posterior compartment include plantar flexion of the ankle, flexion of the toes, and inversion of the foot. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section below. And I'll look forward to connecting with you again in the next video.